Welcome to iLecture Online. In the last video on how to work with vectors, I put on another example where we're trying to find the angle between two vectors. And here we have vector A and vector B, and let me explain a little bit about where they're pointing. They're both starting from the origin in a three-dimensional space. Uh, I have a cube drawn for reference. Notice that the size of each of the cube is one by one by one. And I have a vector that goes from the origin to the point at the corner of the cube that lies on the xz plane. And then I have a vector that goes from the origin to the point farthest away from the origin. So where the coordinates of that point is 1, 1, 1. So let's write that down. So here we have the coordinates 1, 1, 1. And here we have the coordinates 1, 0, 1. OK, that's the end point of the two vectors. Now, what is the angle theta between those two vectors? And if we remember right how to do that, we know that the theta, the angle, is equal to the r cosine of a sub x, b sub x, plus a sub y, b sub y, plus a sub z, b sub z, all divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. That came from the definition of a dot product. So let's go ahead and put those numbers in. Now before we can do that, we probably need to find the magnitude of a and the magnitude of b. So the magnitude of a is equal to the square root of a sub x squared plus b sub x squared plus c sub x squared. So it's equal to the square root of, okay, we have an x component, which is 1, so 1 squared plus, we do not have a y component, 0 squared plus, and we do have a z component, 1 squared. So 1 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, that's 2, that's the square root of 2. Now for the magnitude of b, we have b sub x, b sub x squared plus b sub y squared plus b sub z squared. And ooh, I kind of made a boo-boo here, didn't I? I made a big mess of all this. I got all my stuff mixed up here. Let me write that. This is a sub x squared plus a sub y squared plus a sub z squared. That's a lot better. And so this is equal to the square root of, and of course we do have three components, 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is the square root of 3. So there are the magnitudes of the a and the b vector. Now let's go ahead and plug that all in here. This is equal to the r cosine of a sub x, which is 1, times b sub x, which is 1, plus a sub x, which is 0, b sub x 1, plus a sub x 1, b sub x 1, all divided by the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. All right, going on, this is equal to the r cosine of, maybe I should parentheses around that, that's of this whole thing right there. So we have 1 plus 0 plus 1, that would be 2 divided by the square root of 6. And let's find out what that is equal to. So we have 2 divided by the square root of 6. Okay, so that would be the arc cosine of 0 0.8165, 0 0.8165. Notice if that number comes out to be greater than 1 or less than negative 1, you made a mistake somewhere, but it looks like we're on the right track. So take the arc cosine of that, and we get 35.3 degrees. And here's another example how to find the angle between any two vectors. Find the magnitudes, find the x, y, and z components of each, plug it into the equation, and there you go. That is the angle between those two vectors.